Welcome to my channel Let's Learn. Today I am with another video on web application penetration testing. Before we move ahead, please go through this disclaimer. This is the first part of the web application penetration testing and the topic is on brute force. In this video, I will demonstrate you how brute force attack is performed by the attacker on any web application and how attacker can successfully log into your web account using brute force technique. Before we move ahead, for those who don't know about brute force attack, brute force attack is a method used to crack a password or encryption by systematically trying every possible combination of character until the correct one is found. It is a straightforward but timing consuming approach that relies on the assumption that password or encryption key is weak or can be found within a reasonable amount of time. For example, if a password is a four digit numerical pin, the attacker will start with 0000, 000 and then try 001 and then 002 and so on until the attacker can find the correct password to log into your web application. In this demonstration, I'll be using different platform and tools. Kali Linux as usual will be my hacker machine and my victim machine will be meta exploitable to DVWA. Then I will use a very popular web application penetration testing tools called Burp Suite to crack the password or to perform the brute force attack on the DVWA. Without any further delay, let me take you to my demonstration. Welcome to the second part of this tutorial. Right now I'm inside my Kali Linux, which is my hacker machine. On the side by side, I have opened the meta exploitable, which is my victim machine. Before I move ahead, I need to know the IP address of my meta exploitable. For that, I have to log in inside the meta exploitable. The login credential for meta exploitable is MSF admin as username and MSF admin as a password. Once logged in, I can use ifconfig to check the IP address of meta exploitable. Here, the IP address of my meta exploitable is 10.10.10.7. In your case, it might be different. Note it down and go to your Kali Linux and open the Firefox browser and browse for the meta exploitable. Now, go to DVWA. To log into this DVWA, we can use a default username as admin and password as password. Admin and password as password. Now I'm logged in inside my DVWA. Here I am going to perform a brute force attack. Let me go to brute force section. In this page, it is prompting me for the username and password to log in further inside this web application. As I don't have the username and password to log in, I will try with one of the credential as root as a username and password as the password. Now let me log in. It's telling me that username or password is incorrect. Now my aim is to brute force the username and password for this login page and successfully log in to this web application. For that, I'm going to use very popular web penetration testing tools called Bot Suite. Let me go to the applications, then search for Bot Suite, then click on the Bot Suite. Bot Suite is open. Let me click on temporary project and click next, then use Bot Default, click Start Bot. Bob Suite has started. We are going to use Bob Suite as a proxy server, which means we are going to intercept all the traffic that is generated from the Firefox. For that, we need to configure proxy on the Bob Suite. We'll go to the proxy tab, then we'll go to the options and take note of this. The IP address and the port on which the Bob Suite is listening is 127.0.0.1 and the port is 8080, which means Bob Suite is listening 
to on the local host IP address. Now I will go back to the intercept intercept and I will turn on this intercept on. Now I once I have turned on the intercept the Bob suite is going to listen all the communication that is generated by the Firefox. However, on the Firefox, we need to make a small configuration changes that is inside the network settings. For that, go to application menu and click on settings. Now click on search for network. Once you are inside the network settings, go to the settings and use click on manual proxy configuration. Then here put down the IP address that is 127.0.0.1 and the port number as port 8080 then click ok all the traffic that is generated by the firefox will be sent to the barb suite now let me try to open dvwa and refresh the page you can see barb suite has intercepted and the username is given over here as root and the password is also root and we already know this credential doesn't work but we will try the different combination of username and password to break this web application login page. For that, we need to right click here and send to intruder. Click on send to intruder. Then if you go to the intruders, you can find the same request that has been generated by the Firefox. And it, has, it is now here. And over here, you can see there is, uh, once again, there is a root as a username and there is a password. There is also a login. These are the variable which we can change once we are attempting to break the login credential. But we will not use all of these as a variables. In fact, we are only going to change username and password on each login. So for that, I am going to clear it. I'm going to click in clear, clear it again. I have cleared everything. Now I will choose my payloads as payload or a variable as username. That is, that is root, which is my guess username and also my guess password that is root. I will add it as a variable or as a payload. Now after that, I have to choose the attack type. It is under here you can over here you can see sniper cluster bomb and others sniper is used when we have only one single payload that means if we are going to brute force for username only for example suppose you already know the username of login but you don't know the password then in that case we can you can use the sniper Otherwise, here in my case, as I am not aware of both username and password, I have to choose the cluster bomb, cluster bomb. Then after that, I will go to the payloads, payload. And first of all, I have two payloads. That is, first one is username and the second one is the password. First, I will choose for the first one, which is the username. Then I will try to add different username, which I have predicted. First of all, I am predicting it to be a root admin test user administrator. These are few of my predictions. I am not going to use a huge list. You can load the list of username using this load item from the files from here you can also load the large list however be careful there is a certain limitation on the bob suite community additions so you might not be able to load a huge word file now let me choose my second payload that is a password i'll go to the second payload then here i will choose my password for as admin maybe administrator administrator to the password maybe root test fault the password may be password itself so let us try with the combination of this u password 
I have already set both username and password to perform the brute force attack. To perform the brute force attack, I can simply click start. Let me click start. It is giving me a small warning saying that the community edition of Bob Suite contains a demo version of Bob Intruder. Some functionality is disabled. Let me press OK. Then it will start attacking the web login page using the username and password I have provided. Let us wait for a few moments. The attack is completed. Let me check on the first packet that is username as root and admin as a password. I will try to see this. Uh, and my request is this and let me check for the response. If I go down, let me see whether this combination of username and password is correct or not. Let me scroll it down. Let me maximize it before that. Over here, you can see the username and or password is incorrect. And the length of this response is 4885. If we go through this list, we can find the length of the response is same for all of this combination. So let me scroll it down. Maybe I can find something different over here. Here I can see that if we use admin as the username and password as a password, then it has a different length. That means maybe the combination is correct and it has successfully logged in over here. I am inside the response. Let me scroll it down and see where, whether this telling me the login was successful or something like that. Here it is that welcome to the password protected area admin, which means the username is admin and the password is password to log in to this web application. Now let me go back to my Bob suite. Let me minimize it. Then I will turn off this intercept. Then I will go to the my Firefox again. Now I know the username and password for this login. If I try it, admin and P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D password, I go for login, it is saying welcome to the password protected area admin, which means we have successfully cracked the login page of this web application. That means we have achieved the username and password using Bob proxy. Thank you for watching this video. If you appreciate my job, please subscribe my channel and like this video.